Imagine pepper plants so strong, so incredibly resilient, they almost laugh in the face of common garden problems. This isn't some new chemical spray or genetically modified seed. It's an ancient underground magic that's been overlooked for far too long. Get ready to discover the invisible force that can transform your pepper growing experience and unlock unparalleled plant health. What I'm about to share with you changed everything for me as a pepper grower. Last season, I watched my neighbor's peppers wilt during a particularly harsh dry spell while mine stood tall and vibrant, continuing to produce abundant fruit. The difference wasn't luck, superior soil, or expensive fertilizers. It was something much more fascinating and far more powerful, mycorrhizal fungi. These microscopic allies tripled not just the size of my peppers, but their resilience, their flavor intensity, and their overall health. Today I'm pulling back the curtain on this gardening secret that can revolutionize your pepper harvest. Ever wonder why some peppers seem to thrive effortlessly while yours struggle despite your best efforts? The answer might be hiding just beneath the soil surface in your garden. We're talking about a microscopic marvel that most gardeners have never heard of. Mycorrhizal fungi. Think of them as your pepper plant's underground best friends, working tirelessly in the darkness to support every aspect of plant health and growth. This isn't just another gardening hack or trendy technique that will be forgotten next season. What we're exploring today is a fundamental natural process that has been occurring for over 400 million years, long before humans ever dreamed of cultivating peppers. These fungi form intricate networks beneath our gardens, creating what scientists call the Wood Wide Web, a communication and nutrient sharing system that connects plants across vast distances. When I first learned about mycorrhizae, I was skeptical. How could something I couldn't even see make such a dramatic difference in my garden? The proof came when I conducted my own side-by-side -side comparison, inoculating half of my pepper seedlings with mycorrhizal fungi while leaving the other half untreated. The results were so dramatic that fellow gardeners thought I was using some kind of miracle fertilizer. Mycorrhizal magic unveiled nature's ultimate partnership. So, what exactly is this underground magic? Mycorrhizal fungi form a symbiotic relationship with your pepper plant's roots, creating an enhanced network that acts like super absorbers for water and nutrients. The fungal threads, called hyphae, are incredibly thin, much thinner than plant roots, allowing them to penetrate soil spaces that roots simply cannot reach. Picture this. Your pepper plant's root system might extend a few feet in all directions, but when partnered with mycorrhizal fungi, that network suddenly expands exponentially. These fungal threads can extend the effective root zone by up to 1,000 times, accessing water and nutrients from areas far beyond your plant's natural reach. This enhanced network becomes especially vital during challenging growing conditions like drought, heat waves, or when growing in less than perfect soil. The fungi don't just help with absorption, they actively trade resources with your peppers in a remarkable biological marketplace. The fungi provide your plants with phosphorus, nitrogen, and various micronutrients they've scavenged from the soil. In return, your pepper plants share the sugars they produce through photosynthesis. It's a win-win relationship that has evolved over millennia, and when you introduce it to your garden, you're tapping into one of nature's most successful partnerships. What makes this relationship even more incredible is how it transforms your peppers at a cellular level. Plants with mycorrhizal partnerships develop stronger cell walls, more efficient nutrient transport systems, and enhanced metabolic processes. This means bigger, more flavorful peppers with higher nutritional content and better storage capabilities. Building super-resistant peppers through natural defense. Here's where the super-resistant aspect becomes truly exciting. These fungi don't just feed your plants, they fundamentally fortify them against a wide range of environmental stresses and threats. 
Peppers with established mycorrhizal networks demonstrate remarkable resilience to drought conditions, extreme temperatures, and even certain soil-borne diseases that typically devastate unprotected plants. The mechanism behind this enhanced resistance is fascinating. Mycorrhizal fungi produce compounds that help plants better regulate their water usage, essentially making them more drought-tolerant without any genetic modification or chemical intervention. They also enhance the plant's natural immune system by triggering the production of defensive compounds and strengthening cellular structures. During my own gardening experiments I noticed that my mycorrhizae inoculated peppers maintained their growth rate and fruit production even when rainfall was scarce for weeks. While neighboring gardens showed signs of stress with yellowing leaves and dropped flowers, my peppers continued thriving. The fungi were accessing deep soil moisture that my plant's roots alone could never reach. This resistance extends beyond just water stress. The enhanced nutrient uptake provided by mycorrhizal partnerships means your pepper plants maintain optimal nutrition levels even in challenging soil conditions. This nutritional security translates into stronger plants that can better resist pest infestations and recover more quickly from any damage they do sustain. How to integrate mycorrhizae into your pepper growing system? Ready to unlock this incredible power in your own garden? Incorporating mycorrhizal fungi into your pepper growing routine is surprisingly straightforward and requires no special equipment or advanced gardening skills. You can find mycorrhizal inoculum in various forms, from fine powders to liquid concentrates, and each has its optimal application method. For seed starting, I prefer using powdered inoculum mixed directly into my seed starting mix at a ratio of about 1 tablespoon per gallon of potting medium. This ensures that the fungi are present from the moment your pepper seeds germinate allowing the partnership to develop from the very beginning of the plant's life cycle. When transplanting pepper seedlings, create a mycorrhizal zone by sprinkling inoculum directly into the planting hole before setting your seedling in place. Make sure the roots come into direct contact with the fungi by gently working a pinch of inoculum around the root ball. So, water immediately after transplanting to activate the fungi and begin the colonization process. For established pepper plants, you can still introduce mycorrhizal fungi by creating shallow holes around the plant's drip line and mixing inoculum into the soil. The key here is getting the fungi close enough to the root zone for contact to occur. Water thoroughly after application to help the fungi spread through the soil and, you know, locate your pepper roots. Timing is crucial for success. Apply mycorrhizal inoculum when soil temperatures are consistently above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, as fungi become more active in warmer conditions. Avoid applying during extremely dry periods or right before heavy rainfall, since both conditions can reduce the effectiveness of initial colonization. Environmental factors really do play a significant role in mycorrhizal success. These fungi thrive in soil with good drainage and, you know, adequate organic matter. Avoid over-fertilizing with phosphorus since high phosphorus levels can actually inhibit mycorrhizal development. Instead, focus on building soil health through compost and organic amendments that support both your peppers and their fungal partners. To get the most dramatic results from your mycorrhizal investment, consider the broader soil ecosystem you're creating. These fungi work best in living soil that's rich with beneficial bacteria and other microorganisms. Regular applications of compost tea or liquid kelp meal can provide the organic matter that feeds the entire soil food web, creating an environment where mycorrhizal relationships can truly flourish. So, you'll want to avoid practices that might disrupt your newly established fungal networks. Things like excessive tilling, synthetic fertilizers that are high in phosphorus, and, yeah, certain fungicides can actually damage or even kill mycorrhizal fungi. Instead, it's a good idea to embrace no-till gardening methods and use organic soil amendments that support, rather than hinder, these beneficial relationships. 
Be sure to monitor your pepper plants for signs that the mycorrhizal partnership is really taking hold. You'll probably notice improved drought tolerance first, and then, over time, enhanced growth rates and a deeper, richer color in both the foliage and the fruit. You know, many gardeners report that their peppers develop more complex, intense flavors when grown with mycorrhizal support. Beyond peppers, building a resilient garden ecosystem is really the bigger picture here. While we focused on peppers today, the benefits of mycorrhizal fungi extend far beyond any single crop. Understanding and utilizing this natural symbiosis can totally transform your entire garden into a more resilient, productive, and sustainable ecosystem. Tomatoes, eggplants, herbs, and most flowering plants all benefit from mycorrhizal partnerships. So, consider this knowledge as an investment in your long-term gardening success. Once established, mycorrhizal networks can actually persist in your soil for years, continuing to benefit new plantings and, honestly, supporting the overall health of your garden ecosystem. You're not just growing better peppers, you're building a foundation for sustainable low-maintenance gardening that works with nature rather than against it. The transformation you'll witness in your pepper garden through mycorrhizal partnerships represents just the beginning of what's possible when we align our gardening practices with natural systems. This ancient underground network holds secrets that can revolutionize not just how we grow peppers, but how we approach food production in our changing world. Ready to experience the magic for yourself? Start small with a few pepper plants this season and witness the incredible transformation that happens when you give your plants the fungal partners they've been missing. Your peppers will thank you with unprecedented size, flavor, and resilience. Don't forget to subscribe to Smart Garden for more game-changing gardening secrets and share this video with fellow gardeners who are ready to unlock the hidden potential beneath their soil. Together, we can revolutionize how the world grows food, one garden at a time.